you've already been dropping bombs, incredible advice on startups in general, but let me maybe uh, go straight in and ask, uh, is there advice for somebody that wants to go big, for, to build the big startup to help them succeed? Yeah, it's very similar to the advice I give to investors, because now I, I teach angel investing because there's so many people who want to invest. And so I wrote a book on that, Angel, and then I do a course called Angel University that I teach six times a year. And then I have a syndicate called thesyndicate.com where I invest in companies. There's 6,500 people who are members of that. It's the largest syndicate wow. in the world. In fact, the first deal we ever did was calm.com, the meditation app. We put $378,000 into it when it was a $5 million product, a $5 million company. So we bought six or 7% of the company. It's now worth 2 billion. So you can do the math on that. We still own 5%. What year was it? Uh, six years ago, so probably seven, yeah, maybe 2015, uh, 2014, and nobody yeah. else would invest in Calm. Yeah. But Sam Harris was the reason I did, because I asked Sam, it's, tell me about meditation, and he's explaining it to me, and I said, what about this, like, do you have to have, like, a mantra? How does it work exactly? Yeah. I know positive. He's like, well, you know, you should just go to UCLA and talk to Diana Winston, and, like, there's this whole project there, and I'm like, UCLA does meditation? It's like, yeah, there's a mindful institute. They're like teaching people to be, to, to teach meditation. Yeah. And they're doing PTSD and I'm doing brain scans. And, and I was like, oh. And then I talked to the UCLA people and they're like, it's real. Yeah, like we we taught Phil Jackson and Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal did, you know, that's how they won their championships. They meditated. And I was like, hmm, if UCLA is doing it, Sam says it's cool. Well, fuck it, I'll put money into that. And that's the second biggest investment in my career after Uber. And it will in all likelihood become the biggest. I mean, it's between Uber, Robinhood, and Calm. Um, and long story short, when I'm teaching people to angel invest, there's really two things that you cannot, cannot fake. One is a product that is built really well. So if you look at Calm, Robinhood, Uber, Tesla, Amazon, these products are transcendent. They're well constructed. There's craftsmanship to them. They're they're great products. So you're saying not fundamentally like the idea, but the execution of the actual craftsmanship exactly. for the construction. The, the actual product is amazing. Then um, there's customers, and that every business has ultimately a customer. And that customer, if they are in fact delighted by that product, that's the magic, because you need a team to build the product. And then you need customers to use the product. And really, those three vectors are undeniable. Now, you could have great teams that build a bad product. doesn't happen too often. Um, or you could have customers who don't like the product. But generally speaking, a great team will build a great product or a good product and iterate, and then eventually delight customers. And so most people say the team is the most important, but um, there's a lot of smart people out there. And let's assume that you can have, you can raise money for your idea or you have money or you can just convince people to do it for free. If you make a great product and it connects with users, that's the magic. You look at Clubhouse, it's actually a really well-designed product. Uh, and that product is connecting with customers. And if you were to talk to the customers or look at the product, you would see a well-constructed product and a delighted customer. And you can tell the delighted customer by just the amount of time they use it. That's called engagement. Mm -hmm. It's just a fancy word for how much they use it. And Snapchat, when that was going around and they were trying to raise money, they had a fraction of the number of users. Mm -hmm. But the top maybe third were opening the app every hour. And that nobody had ever seen that before. People were using Facebook, you know, a couple times a day, the top users, mm -hmm. but nobody had ever seen people using it every day for a hundred days in a row, every hour. And I was like, what's going on here? It's like, oh, the ephemeral messaging and then the streaks. They had created these streaks between people where, you know, every day and then people would be like on vacation. Like I just have to open my streak and keep my streak with Lex that we yeah. chatted every day going. And so they had this like addictive nature to it. And that's why Clubhouse was able to garner so much investment mm -hmm. is the number of hours people were using it every month uh, was just unbelievably off the charts. Some of that is execution, but some of it is the, the weird the magic of the- Product market fit. 